All right, we've done a lot of conversions in tennis and we'll use the same idea in track to do some dimensional analysis is what we call it, but it's really converting from miles per hour to feet per second, to meters per second, to kilometers per hour, any of those units, being able to convert between them. And that's a really handy thing to be able to do. Here's what I'll give you on a test. The one mile is the same as 5280 feet, one hour is the same as 3600 seconds. We used both of those with the tennis statistics for the serve speeds. And then in addition, we have some conversions. One kilometer is the same as 1,000 meters, and one foot is the same as 0 0.3048 meters. Now, with these um, conversion facts, we can use them the way they are written, or we can flip them over. And so you could have one mile in the numerator, 5280 feet in the denominator, or like we saw for our tennis, we did it um, 5280 feet over one mile. Same for this, you could have 3,600 seconds in the numerator and one hour in the denominator. This fraction, you could have 1,000 meters in the numerator and one kilometer in the denominator. Uh, here you could have 0 0.3048 meters in the numerator and one foot in the denominator. And it just depends on what you're starting with and what you want to convert to. And I'll show you some examples. Uh, we're going to look at some fast people usually track and field is measured in meters and sometimes we want to convert them to miles per hour just because we're more familiar with that in the united states and for example usain bolt from jamaica set the world men's record for the 100 meter dash in 2009 with a very fast time of 9.58 seconds and that is if i write a um a unit for him or his, I write his speed as a fraction, it's going to look like 100 meters per 9.58 seconds, meters per second. That's what we would call that one. And so I'll write it in that order. So that's his speed. And we want to convert it to, what is it in meters per second? Well, our units are already correct, meters over seconds, and that's what we're being asked for. So if you forget, you can just look there and go, oh, okay, I have to put it in that order. Put the meters over the seconds, and then we really just want to do 10 divided by 9.58, and then we have meters per second. So we're finding a unit rate again. 10 divided by 9.58, how did that convert to 10? <laughs> Go back. So it's really the same thing as separating it out, the 100 over the 9.58 and then meters per second. So 100 divided by 9.58, we're really just finding a unit rate again. 100 divided by 9.58 and I get 10.43, probably just two decimal places is good, 10.43 meters per second. And remember, write it sideways when you're writing your results. So there is our answer for part A. That is in meters per second. So we just converted it to a unit rate. Just divide out that fraction and then make sure your units are in the right order for what it says, meters per second, meters over seconds. Perfect. Let's look at the next one. This one is kilometers per hour. So if I'm doing kilometers for, per hour, it's going to be really quick to switch from meters per second into kilometers per hour. If I had some other units already calculated, like miles per hour, that's a messier um, conversion. So I would, I would want to use the one that was already in metric to convert. So let's look at part B. 